home at three o'clock, but I had to go to work at five, so uh, I'm very tired. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll make this short and sweet so you can go back to bed, man. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Who who'd you see in concert? Um, Diamond Dreamer. It was a, a resurrection of picture. I don't know if you know them from uh, from Holland. No, I have not, but they sound interesting. Yeah, picture from uh, 1983. They had a very nice album, the uh, Diamond Dreamer. It was one of the the best albums from that year, I think. <laughs> very cool. You should check them out. <laughs> I will. There, what was the name of them again? Uh, picture. Picture, and the the album is called Diamond Dreamer. When I'm done with this interview, I will check them out. Yeah, do it. <laughs> okay, I'll do a little intro, and we'll get things rolling here. Okay. Okay. Is it live or what? No, we're not live. I'm recording. Uh, okay. <laughs> but because my English, my English is not that good, eh? So. <laughs> dude, your English is fine. <laughs> okay. You know, every 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 time I talk talk to a band over in Europe or something, or even Brazil, everybody's like, "Man, pardon our English." I'm like, "Dude, you, I can understand you fine. You're good." Okay. <laughs> if you understand what I'm trying to say, it's okay for me. <laughs> yep. It's all cool, man. So yeah, so all this beginning part I'll cut out. This won't be in. The, this won't be actually what I put. What I play on the show. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, metalheads. This is DJ Rem, and I have Irwin from the band Fire Force right now. And uh, good day, sir. How are you? Uh, I'm very fine, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being interested in our band. Man, I have been listen. I have been listening to you guys for a long time. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Yep, Rock, Rock and uh, Axel from Rock and Grawl actually sent me your album. He actually sent me a physical copy, and um, I think my kids probably got tired of listening to it because I listened to it so much in my car. <laughs> the poor kids. <laughs> yeah, no, they they liked it, but it it was like every time they got in the car, that's what they got to hear. Uh, okay. So yeah, so the album, the whole, I love the entire album. It's it's very cool. Thank you, thank you. So what is go what's going on with you guys right now? Uh, on this moment, we are trying to plan some touring next year. So, and uh, we are writing new songs for a new album, but I don't know when we are going to record that. So you have to be patient. <laughs> well, that's fine, because th this album is that good that I can just keep listening to it until the new stuff's out. So <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I've got a lot of, um, you know... Cause we play. I'm not the only DJ that plays it a lot. There's a couple other DJs that that play a lot of fire, a lot of your stuff, and the uh, the listener reaction is good. Everybody really digs digs you guys. So okay, we should come over one one of these days, then. Eh? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. That would be great. We That'd should try that, but we 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 uh, need to have some organizer who wants us. Eh? <laughs> exactly. Well, you know what? I I know um I know a I know a company that might be able to help you out with that. Okay. I'll, That's uh, always interesting. Yep. I'll shoot you some information online, okay? Okay, it's very nice. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just friends. I don't get any money for it or anything. So, it's 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 <laughs> okay. It's, it's it's only so, trying to help people. Don't, we don't have any money, so that's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's better yet, right? <laughs> It's a, we are a metal band, you know. Uh, yes. With metal, you can't earn any money. Eh? It just costs money. <laughs> right. Yeah. If if you if you're in this business to think you're gonna get rich, you might as well just go home, right? Yeah. Indeed. It, for, for us, it's just a hobby. So. Yeah. Well, that's good because this whole radio thing that I do is just a hobby too. I don't get paid, or you know, I'm on the same thing. All my equipment, all my time is, you know, it's on me. So. That's that's the way metal keeps existing, yeah, by by people who do it because they believe in it, eh? and they not they not get paid, eh? Exactly. <laughs> that's that's true. Um, true dedication. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, we we did uh, a few shows uh, for uh, fourteen days ago. We went with Pegasus from Australia. I think you know them. Yep. Uh, so we, we went with them to uh, Austria and uh, Switzerland to do some shows with them. And uh, it was very nice, but we didn't get paid for it also. Eh? We just did the shows. It was very nice to do. And it's just because we love to do it that we did it. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, okay, so your your current album, where did you guys record that at? Uh, we recorded it in Germany, in Bayern, in the Music Factory studio. 
videos, uh, and uh, it was produced by um, uh, Roberto Dimitri Liapakis, the singer from uh, Mystic Prophecy, who did a very good job in our eyes. <laughs> It was a, a, a very nice thing to do in a German studio because in Belgium we don't have any good studios. No, that's wrong. It's a, we have good studios, but we don't have the right producers here. I gotcha. But uh, also, it was very, um, how should I say, very normal to do a recording in Germany because our style of metal is uh, German-based, in fact. Eh? So. Okay. Where... Um How'd you guys all meet and, and, and get this whole fire force thing going? How'd that all happen? Well, that's, that's a very that's a very hard question because we had already I think twenty five members <laughs> until now. <laughs> you no, know, uh, in fact, uh, our singer and I we uh, were from a Belgian band Double Diamond, and uh, the other guys from from the band they were uh, not interested to lift the band to a higher level. And uh, our singer and I, we were, we are very, uh, how do you say, very in into metal, and we, we love to do something that would reach a lot of more people than we reached with Double Diamond. So uh, we left Double Diamond in 2008, and we started Fire Force. But it was uh, very hard to find the right people. So in this moment, now we have uh, a complete new lineup. The only two guys who are still uh, from the CD in the lineup are me and our singer so the other three guys are completely new but i think now we have a lineup where we can achieve something with yeah and it, it seems like a band is always an evolving process so i'm not surprised to hear that and every time every time when you have a new member it's a setback for the band eh? you have to rehearse again and try new things and over and over again so it's it's very hard right so how often do you guys get do you guys rehearse right now how often do you practice uh once a week and in fact, with, with our uh, solo guitar player, who is from Berlin, and, and we are here in, uh, based in Antwerp, in, in Belgium. So in fact, we, we never rehearsed with him. <laughs> he, he just uh, rehearsed the number, the, uh, the songs, I mean, the songs at his home. When we come together, we play them once before the gig, and then we are uh, going and play it live. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so here, here's something just real quick, real kind of funny. So you said you're in the, the, you're in Antwerp. Yes. Okay. the The county I live in, or the the area that I live in in, in the United States where I'm at, it, yeah. it's Antwerp Township. Really? <laughs> That's the name of the township. That's where I vote and do all that stuff. So I just thought I'd mention we have a little common bond there. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's not very often you come across something like that. Yeah, that's uh, very, <laughs> very nice to hear. <laughs> now I know where they found the the, the name Antwerp. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a story. Eh? Antwerp comes uh, comes in fact from a uh, um, hand throwing. It means in fact in Dutch. And uh, once upon a time in Antwerp there was a, a castle, and we have a, a river here. And the castle it uh, it was meant to uh, oh how do you say it in English? To hold the ships until they paid money to get through. Oh, okay. And, it, and, and the castle was uh, inhabited by a giant. And uh, in some times in the Roman times, there was a, a, a Roman centurion, Brabo called, eh, Brabo, and he, he killed the giant and he uh, hacked his hands off his body and he threw it into the river. And that's why we have now our name from our city, Handwerpen. So hand throwing. Wow, that's the story. That's cool. I appreciate that. That's awesome. I don't know if it's true. Eh? I don't <laughs> believe in giants, so. <laughs> right, I was gonna say I don't know the last time I saw a giant, but you never know. <laughs> so you know what? Okay, since it's just you, go ahead and you've kind of mentioned them, but if you can just like officially mention the other members of the band and what their spots are. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, Flyp, is our singer, and then we have uh, Geert van Dijk, who is our bass player. And um, Christophe de Combe is our drummer, and Marcus Ruki Forsbauer from Berlin, who's our solo guitar player. Very cool. I tell you what, one of the reasons I love you guys so much is I love the the little solo parts where it's just it's just total shredding. It's just amazing. Yeah, uh, that's in fact the, the solo parts. They are um, uh, apart from Constantine, from the guitar player from Mystic Prophecy. 
because he uh, he played some the, the guest solos on our album because okay. we had some problems with our solo guitar player at the moment we were recording the solos his wife was uh, he she needed very badly a surgery and he had to go back to Belgium during the recordings so we had no guitar player on that moment <laughs> to record the parts we, we had a studio but no player oh, so uh, Lia he uh, suggested that we asked Constantine to play the, the solos so we did he was very delighted to do it and he did a very fine job that's awesome so that's the story behind it <laughs> yep that's that's cool man so what got you into music at one point in your life when, when did you decide that you know what metal is like something i love Ooh, that's a very long time ago <laughs> The, the, the very first time I, I got into uh, heavy music, let's call it that way, was when I saw the first time uh, ACDC performing Hole of the Rosie on the TV here in Belgium. <laughs> so it was like something like, oh, this is the kind of music I like. And uh, when I was 18, I got my first guitar. And that's how I rolled into the, the metal business. Uh, I just tried and tried and tried until I found some people with, which I could uh, play with. And uh, we love doing it, And but I'm the only one through all those years who's still doing it, so... <laughs> <laughs> you have to be a little bit crazy to do it. Yeah, and your passion was stronger, that's all. That's true. How'd you guys, how, how did the name Fire Force come to be for the band name? Okay, that's also a, a, a very <laughs> that's also a story eh, to tell. So uh, um, during gig gigs here in Belgium, to uh, we visited some gigs from Firewind, and uh, we we learned to uh, I was how do you say it uh, Apollo from Firewind. We knew him really by uh, from man to man, you know, and we were with him in the in a restaurant, in an Indonesian restaurant, with the other guys from Firewind, and we talked about the the tour from Firewind and Dragon Force. And on that moment, I was thinking about leaving Double Diamond and start a new band, so we talked about well, our band names and so on. And we started suggesting band names just by uh, crossing the names from Firewind and Dragon Force. So we had uh, Dragon Wind, but was something too smelly. <laughs> and then <laughs> On that moment, I said Fire Force, and everyone on the table was very quiet. They say, hey, that's a very cool name, Apollo. So I knew it uh, when we started a new band, it would, its name would be Fire Force. <laughs> that's the story. Right. That's awesome. I can, you know, I think about it. I guess I hear a little a little type of the, the, I don't know what I'm trying to say. See, you're worried about speaking English. I can't even talk. <laughs> the... Just some of, some of the shredding in your guys' music, I mean, it kind of reminds me of Fire Force. And, Fire Force, you guys are Fire Force. It reminds me of Dragon Force a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not that good. <laughs> Dragon Force, they are, uh, what would you say, they are very good musicians. So uh, I'm just a mediocre guitar player. So uh, that's all. I just love to do the stuff I, I, I'm doing because I, I want to make music like a fan does, you know? Right. Uh, I make the music... I would love to hear from a band myself. That's that's how I make music. Cool. Okay. So something else that I really love about the album is I love the artwork on the cover. I think it's just it's beautiful and amazing. Who um who designed that for you? It's uh, it was designed by Eric Philipp, who uh, worked already since the eighties for metal bands, and uh, he did also cover work for uh, Gamma Ray, for The Rots, for uh, Nazareth, and so on. And he's, I, I love his style, I love really his style, and he worked a lot for Double Diamond also. So it was, in fact, for me it was normal he would make the new cover for Fire Force. Because I love really the, the way he he uh, shows and gives the colors a life. We, that you can see something at the picture, you say, and okay, there's something happening, you know? So yeah. I love it. Yeah, so do I, because it seems like seems like there was a long period of time where musicians and stuff just as far as the artwork on covers it kind of went away everybody was just putting like a picture of themselves on their cover and it's just like really are you kidding me yeah, yeah i'd rather love something uh uh beautiful than uh five uh, ugly guys on a cover you know <laughs> exactly <laughs> 
Well, and, and seriously though, you know, just uh, when I look at a cover and see that kind of artwork, it just to me, you know, music is art. The cover should be art. It kind of kind of br- puts it all to, to me. It's a complete package, especially when you buy a CD. Uh, indeed, indeed. In fact, I have the the cover artwork. I have it here on my wall in uh, in a big version from about uh, forty to sixty centimeters. I think it's uh, very great. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You know, because you think about some of the band. I mean, what's neat to me is I love to look at a uh, album cover and and know just by looking at the picture who I'm who I'm look what band it is. You know what I mean? If you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, think but, about but, but, Megadeth. You look at a Megadeth album cover, it doesn't matter what it says on it, you're going to know it's Megadeth. That's true. That's true. I, I, I still remember when, in my younger days, I, I used to sit back in a, in a chair, and in a lazy chair, and uh, take the album, the vinyl album, and when I played it, and I always had the cover in my hands, and turning it around and look again at all the, the, the details on it. And to, to read the lyrics and so on, it's, it's, it's a lot harder with the CD, eh? It's, it's smaller. Right, right. Okay, so speaking of this album, where can people purchase it if they want to buy? Uh, I hope in uh, every good uh, music shop. <laughs> I, I really don't know if, if, uh, if it's available in, in America, in the US. Eh? I, I think so, it is, but I'm not sure. But in fact, you can purchase it through uh, through on the internet, eh? and also by the with us, with on the band's page. Eh? Also, it's no problem. So, if people want to like do digital download, they can get it at iTunes and Amazon yeah, and all that stuff. That's also possible. It's okay. uh, digital available. Because right. I um I kind of do a mix. Sometimes I buy albums. Sometimes I buy digital download. It just depends. I'm one of these people that, you know, if I find a band, I'm like, I want to listen to it now. So I just download it. Yeah, yeah that's true. It's to, to, uh, um, for learning a band, what they do and so, it's, it's, uh, it's good to download it. But so I, I'd rather have the real stuff in my hands. Right, right. Well, and luckily, with you guys, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's great for you. <laughs> yep, very good. What, um... So what else is going on with you guys? What else would you like the world to know about Fire Force? Well, that we are playing good music. <laughs> That's the only thing I want want to to share with with you guys, because uh, it, it's very hard for a band from Belgium to to get recognized. You know, it's it's it's, it's very hard to to be something. Uh, but, uh, most of the time, uh, Belgium is such a small country. The only thing people know us about is is by child abuse. And that we have no governments, but <laughs> most of the time people doesn't know that we also have good metal bands. Right. <laughs> yep. Well, you know what? I just talked to. I think it was yesterday. I talked to another band from Belgium. So, or either last week. So, I, I, I know you guys are there. <laughs> just saying. Uh, which band was that? Oh, let me look real quick here. I gotta check my calendar. I can't keep track. <laughs> Nuclear Salvation, maybe? Nuclear Salvation. Doesn't ring a bell. Um, oh, I know. Serpent Cult. Oh, yeah, I know that. I, I don't know what they are doing, but I know the name. <laughs> yep, that, that's the other band from, from Belgium I talked to. I talked but to them last no, weekend. That's no power metal, eh? No, it's more of a... It's more black metal. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, that's not my kind of stuff, so that's why I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> right. Well... I have a wide range of um, music I listen to, so I, I take in a whole lot of different things. But right now, power metal, your style of metal is definitely by far my favorite at this moment in time in my life. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> yep. So, um, what else? I guess I pretty much asked you everything I wanted to ask you. you you've, or if I didn't ask, you've already answered it, so... Yeah, okay. Thanks. It was uh, very interesting, eh? because it's, it's the first time I do something like this with Skype and talk English thinking and talking at the same time. is very hard to do an interview um, in writing. It's, it's a lot easier because I can think about what I'm saying and I can... Uh, 
make it new, uh, correct uh, the the wrong stuff and so. But on this time, I really have to think and talk at the same time. It's very hard for me. Well, you've done great. I haven't I haven't heard you say anything that didn't make sense. So how's that? Okay, <laughs> that's more than I can do in Dutch because most of the time people say I'm uh, talking a lot of stuff that's n- has no sense. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's usually what my friends say about my English, so it's all good, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, one last thing. If I could get you to make a couple of radio tags for me to play, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, okay. So if if the first one, you can say, this is Erwin from Fire Force, and you're listening to DJ Rem at MetalheadRadio.com. Whoa, that's a lot. That's, a lot. that's fast, huh? <laughs> Just a moment. I have to write it down. You want, you want me to type it? You want me to type it in Skype? Yeah. Okay. Type it. That's better. That's a good one. Well, maybe the chat box isn't is mi- missing. There's the chat box. The chat box here is open. Oh. I, uh, I can see it, but nothing happened. <laughs> no, I can't see the stupid thing. <laughs> All I see is a picture of you and the the, the, the the toolbar with, like, the call button and stuff. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, there we go. I found it. See, I'm, oh. a, little, I'm a little slow. <laughs> Digital techniques is not for everybody good, huh? <laughs> sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Uh, it has to work. That's the first thing. Yeah, not close out on you. There you go. Uh, all right. Okay. So I just say it now. Yep. The whole thing's recording. I'll just cut. I'll cut things out. So. Okay. Hi, this is Erwin from Fire Force, and you're listening to DJ REM at MetalHeadRadio.com. Okay. And then the that second. Bit. Yep, that's fine. And then the second one, say the exact same thing, but just keep leave the DJ REM part out. Okay. Go for it. Okay. The, hello, guys. This is Arian from Fire Force, and you're listening to MetalHeadRadio.com. Perfect, man. Appreciate that. No problem. I like, I to, love to... I like to throw those in when I, whenever I'm playing songs, so that'll be good. Yeah, when I have a good producer, I can do some good stuff, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, man. Well, I appreciate it a ton. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, now you can go back to sleep land or whatever you need to do. <laughs> just, I'm just going to eat something first, <laughs> and then I'm going to have uh, to take a nap because uh, tomorrow I have to go to work again. Uh, so All right. It's a real meta life, eh? Going yeah. to work, going to work, sleeping, eating, working, <laughs> yep. doing a gig. Right. So exactly. Just... How? So how? Not just just to, just for a quick second. So how do you work? You know. Say you, when if you're gonna go do a tour with another band, like you, you know, how do you get out of work for that? Are they they pretty easy to get along with for that kind of stuff? Uh, for me, it's a bit easier than for the rest, I think, because I'm a <clears throat> I'm a shift leader in a chemical plant. Okay. And uh, when I'm shift leader, I can also arrange my own uh, my own holidays, you know. So right. it's, uh, it's a, right. a, bit, a bit easier for me than from a normal guy. Right. Okay. Well, cool, man. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, thanks again. You have a great day. Okay, thanks, Spencer. And maybe till uh, maybe we see each other in America. Eh? That that would be un- wonderful. Yes. You know, maybe another thing too. Someday in the future, maybe we can get the whole band together and do this again with the whole band. Oh yeah, well, that's a uh, it's a good idea. It's it's always hard to to get our guitar player over here just to do something like this. You know. It's, well, right. Uh, no, I get that. Yeah. Has to fly in and so. so right. uh, well, we, yeah, we, we, we do don't want to cost when we people have money. A and we have, we're all together here before we take over, so it's okay. That yeah. would be nice. Okay, man. Well, thanks again, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, good. Goodbye, Spencer. Yep, thanks. Goodbye.